In this video, we're going to be building Dimitri Akovac's exact blade and rubber setup, along with an in-depth review of his new Interforce ALC by Butterfly. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video to see some bonus footage of me hitting with Adam Barbaro. So first off, the packaging for this blade is absolutely beautiful. It's black on black with hints of gold and blue. On the actual handle of the blade itself, you will see the black, the gold, and the blue, with the blue representing ALC and the gold representing victory. Taking a closer look at this blade, you can see the ALC carbon within the five layers of plywood that this blade contains. What makes this blade so special is that Dmitry Akovac himself and Butterfly teamed up to make a blade very similar to one of the best selling blades by Butterfly, the T-Mobile ALC. Although there are four major differences in Dmitry Akovac's Interforce ALC that make this blade very special. The first major difference is the head size of this blade, coming in at 158 by 152 millimeters, which makes it slightly larger. Dimitri's new blade is also thicker, coming in at 6.2 millimeters, and the handle as well is slightly larger than the T-Mobile ALCs. Another unique thing about this blade is where the ALC carbon is located within the five carbon layers. The carbon is located underneath the second layer of wood, giving this blade an almost all wood feel, versus the T-Mobile ALC, the carbon layer is located underneath the first layer. Weighing this blade out, it comes in at just under 90 grams. It kind of fluctuates between 89 and 90, so I would consider it, I don't know, 89 grams. As promised, we're gonna build Dimitri's exact blade and rubber setup. On his forehand, he uses a 2.1 black sheet of Dignix 09C. Dignix 09C is the newest rubber by Butterfly in the Dignix series. It is a very tacky, sticky rubber and is almost like the European version of Hurricane 3. Because of this, Dignix 09C provides an immense amount of spin, but without sacrificing the power, similar to Tenor G05. On Dimitri's backhand, he uses a sheet of 2.1 red Dignix 05. Now it's time to turn the volume up because we're about to do a bounce test. Okay, so at this point I'm ready to get these rubbers on the blade and I took a little time lapse for you guys to see the process. To keep things consistent, I glued exactly like Dimitri. Recently on his channel he just uploaded a tutorial on how he glues. He mentioned that when he plays smaller venues he does two layers of glue on the sponges and then one layer of glue on the blade. Although when he plays bigger venues he does three layers of glue on the sponge and one layer of glue on the blade. Adding a third layer of glue to the sponge will increase the racket's speed and weight. 
For all intents and purposes, I do not need the extra speed or weight, so I just did two layers of glue on the sponge. After putting this racket together, everything came out absolutely beautiful and I could not ask for a better setup. Usually when I do a bounce test for you guys on a blade, I never really do a bounce test once the racket is fully assembled. So I thought I'd show you guys what it sounds like with the Dignix 05 and 09C. Even though I've used Dignix 09C before, I was still shocked while filming the difference between the 05 and the 09C due to the tackiness. And while doing the bounce test, I used a brand new Nitaku ball, which marked up the rubber and I couldn't help myself but to clean it after. The assembly of this racket is almost done, but we have one final step before completion, taping the edges. Once again, to keep things consistent, we're going to tape exactly like Dimitri in his most recent tutorial of how he assembles his racket. What he does is just applies tape to one side of the racket in order to protect the blade and the rubber from the surface return. Technically, you do not need tape around the entire racket, and I've seen lately that a lot of pros are doing this, including T-Mobile. Here's the final result of taping just one side of the blade. Personally, I've never done this before, but if you have or have any ideas or thoughts, let me know what you think in the comments below. So that about completes this review on the all new Dimitri Akavok Interforce ALC. But as promised, I'm gonna show you a few points between Adam Barber and I earlier this week. And I'll be completely honest with you, he kicked my ass. I'm just showing you the best few points. Thank <laughs> you. 